everybody. Uh, I just finished day two at the Australian School for Project-Based Learning. And reflecting a little bit about what I learned today, I want to talk about human ingenuity and creativity and how flipping awesome it can be when it's unleashed and unhindered. We talk a lot about standardized testing in the education reform world uh, and in education conversations because we talk about how it requires students to only learn what's necessary for the test, right? And that they don't get to think on their own. We talk about critical thinking as this huge buzzword, right? And that standardized testing kills it. But what we talk about a little bit less in the context of limitations that come from standardized testing is the creativity of a teacher. These lessons that have to be very constrained and very focused on content delivery in a teacher-centered kind of way right, where the teacher has all the content and they have all the answers and we just give it to them and we have to do it that way because there's very, very, very specific pieces of information you have to know for a test. The more that I learn about project-based learning and about student-centered learning, the more I realize that we need the most creative people possible. Oh, do I go that way? No. We need the most creative in people possible to take on the challenge of teaching with student-centered practices like project-based learning. I realized today when I was speaking, when I was uh, interviewing one of the instructors, which I unfortunately can't tell you too much about, what I can say is that she took what's considered best practices for project-based learning by the New Tech Network, by the school itself, um, by various scholars. She took those nuts and bolts and she that was pretty much the only thing that she had. She completely blew past boundaries of what we all thought project-based learning could do, or the scope to which we could use project-based learning, um, or the kinds of lessons or the format of a class that uses project-based learning. It's incredible how when we, when leadership is more hands-off and we give people autonomy, how much they rise to the challenge, and that's true whether it's a teacher teaching in project-based learning, whether it's a student, which is the whole premise of student-centered learning, right? Is to give them more autonomy and let them explore for themselves. Um, whether it's a coworker or someone that you manage in the workplace, people just, when they feel more respected because they're given more space, because they're given more trust, people are going to work harder. They're gonna be much more interested in um, finding a creative solution to a problem. And so I think that's a huge leadership lesson that I've learned from all of this is that people are people are people are people, right? And people want to be respected. And a huge message or a huge way to send the message that you respect someone is to give them autonomy and to trust them and to leave them alone, right? A little bit. And that's what student-centered learning does. It sends the message to students that we think you can take control of your own learning and we think that you can come up with a really fascinating product um, as a result to show your learning and throughout this process. And we think that you can facilitate your own group dynamics and work through this problem together without us giving you all the answers or without us intervening on your behalf every time there's a, there's a snafu in your group. And I think that's a really important lesson, whether that's in the workplace, in the classroom, in the teacher's lounge, um, in any school reform conversation. People are people, are people, are people. Yeah.